Weather Lab. Here's Daniel's True View forecast. Welcome back everyone. Busy morning in the Weather Lab. Once again, this is the last little remnants of Tropical Storm Barry. We do have some very intense rainfall in northern half of Acadiana starting from roughly about North St. Landry, Evangeline Parish, stretching northwards up into Rapides. There is a line of very intense uh, rainfall here. Flash flood warnings are in effect until about 1015 through this region. They've received a lot of rainfall here recently and there is more starting to get going down south, stretching up through Acadia Parish. There is a line right now from about Opelousa straight through into the Gulf of Mexico where we've got a lot of intense rainfall. This is some of the communities that are dealing with some of the heaviest rain. Morrow has seen a, some really nasty thunderstorms here through the morning. Those have stretched up over into Simsport. The good news is, though, it looks like at least the lightning is calming down, so some of the energy may be gone. The, the problem is, though, that if you just walk outside, you can feel how humid it is, all that moisture. That's basically instability, so it's not going to take much to really spark a round of very, very heavy, intense rainfall across much of the area. Down south that line a little bit, uh, you do have some showers up over in Beauregard Parish. Those are going to push into Allen, which has received a little bit of a break, but also a ton of rainfall a little bit earlier on this morning. It's been a very busy morning and a very active morning through some of those areas. Be on the lookout for flooding if you're traveling in northern parts of Acadiana. Other storms to watch out for. Jennings, you guys have had some very heavy rain over the last half hour to an hour. Uh, so do be on the lookout for a little bit of street flooding through there as well. Basically, wherever this line is going, you're going to want to watch uh, for some flooding that will stretch all the way through down into Cameron Parish and beyond northwards up into Ville Platte, where we had a report from Abby a little while. Some street flooding expected over through that area that is in the flash flood warning region. Anywhere within the warning, you can expect some, some street flooding. You do need to watch all the rivers and the waterways here very closely. More rainfall on the way for Ville Platte as it looks like another line is starting to pick up. Now that is going to intersect with this line that is moving through Iota and Church Point right in this region where we've seen a couple big blow ups. So again, keep your eyes on this uh, Evangeline St. Landry Parish border area. As it seems like that's where a lot of that activity has been able to take off. That's all rooted in showers that stretch down all the way through into the Gulf of Mexico that are just lining up one after the other. So the flood threat not over just yet. We have a flash flood watch that is in effect across all of Acadiana where the warning is they've received some areas up to 10 inches worth of rainfall uh, over the last six, seven hours. This goes back through midnight. Now tomorrow they've kind of taken on five to seven inches worth of water over the last couple of hours. So there's got to be some flooding out over through that region. Avoid the roadways in this area that will stretch all the way through down towards Kinder and uh, out over into Beauregard Parish as well. That wide swath of intense rainfall. Flash flood watch is in effect across the region. We will see that all the way through the rest of the day today. A quick run through of the model shows that we'll continue to see this activity swing through. May not reach Lafayette for several more hours yet, but we are expecting some of that rainfall to push across the region. Scott.